Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the election of President Obama, gangs and ex-offenders. And we have with us to talk about the impact of uh, the election of President Obama on gangs and ex-offenders uh, is uh, Reverend Kay Walker uh, with uh, uh, Mr. R. Britton as well as Mr. L. Uh, Greenlee and Reverend and Lonnie, if you will. <laughs> yes. And of course, we're glad uh, to have all three of you here yes. with us to talk about what we consider to be a very, very to important topic. Let's start, of course, uh, uh, Brother Walker, you've been with us on many, many occasions, okay. as well as Lonnie, as well as Rodney uh, right. now. Uh, and, and so uh, let's start off by having you to, each of you to give us a little sketch in terms of your background, education, that kind of thing. And then uh, we'll get into uh, the impact of uh, President Obama's election upon right. gangs and ex-offenders. Okay. Well, I'm Pastor Kelvin L. Walker. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I was born right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I pastor the Abundant Life Christian Center North. We're located in the uh, Millennium Maxwell House Hotel out in North Nashville. Born and raised right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I was born to a couple of good parents mm -hmm. and stuff like that. that kind of taught me the right things to do and the, and the right way mm -hmm. to go. I spent a little time trying to get an education mm -hmm. Uh, at Tennessee State University after having been kicked out of the public schools and made a little trip through the Navy and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But I ended up in, uh, on drugs and alcohol, got, got uh, caught up into that, spent mm -hmm. 17 years of my life in active drug addiction, mm -hmm. and then, of course, spent uh, almost five years of my life incarcerated in, in the Tennessee State prison system. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's, that's basically, you know, who I am and what I'm about today. And I'm here on your show just to share with you some information and, and talk about some things that I think that are important mm -hmm. in terms of the re election and, mm -hmm. and how it relates to uh, our president and incarceration mm -hmm. and, and those ex-offenders coming back out of the system into society. Very good. And then, Rodney? Yes, sir. I am 21 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest of you three, <laughs> uh, <laughs> new generation. Right. Uh, I was uh, born and raised here in Nashville to a, raised up in a single parent home. Uh, I graduated from Weiss Creek High School, class of 2006. Uh, come from a background of uh, uh, supporting family, supporting mo mother. Mm -hmm. um, and basically what my role is today, uh, I've been preaching for about a year now and uh, also as a youth coordinator for Galaxy Star Peacemakers. Mm -hmm. So that's what uh, my uh, mm -hmm. background is mm -hmm. thus far. That's got you here. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good, Mr. Uh, Greenlee. Hey, man. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Lolly Greenlee, and <laughs> I moved into the project in 1969. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we're going back a long way, uh -huh. you know, dealing with these streets. Mm. And, you know, I like what Kevin said, you know. Man, listen, mm. we, we had all of these things going mm. up, mm. and then we get caught up. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you get caught up in the mess, mm. boy, there's a message behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's where we are mm. as today. Mm -hmm. And you, and it's a good topic, you're talking about what President Obama mm -hmm. have to do with people that's been arrested like me over mm -hmm. 60 times. Mm -hmm. You know, and now I haven't been arrested in the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. You know, ain't that great? Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> so I was raised up in Nashville mm -hmm. too also, and mm -hmm. we, we Basically, mm -hmm. we come through the same roads, mm -hmm. you know, and unless we went to uh, Harvard or <laughs> Vanderbilt or, uh -huh. you know, and mm -hmm. so, so happy he went to the Army and mm -hmm. I stay on the streets, mm -hmm. but I got 16 years mm -hmm. on that streets, mm -hmm. you know, in the madness. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Very good. And, and, and of course, uh, one of the uh, most important things, uh, since this is about uh, the election of uh, President Obama, I think that it can be universally recognized that that uh, election has had an impact mm -hmm. upon a lot of folks. And, and, and we're more concerned today uh, uh, as we approach this uh, first commercial break uh, with the impact that it has had on gangs and ex-offenders. And uh, since you deal quite uh, a bit with uh, individuals who have been incarcerated, and you, we've talked to you on a number of occasions in reference to that, yeah. what seems to be the word in reference to that election as far as you, you can uh, gather from your conversation? Well, I think people are, are trying to kind of holding out some hope that mm -hmm. some things will happen since President uh, Obama has been elected mm -hmm. into the presidency of the United States of mm -hmm. America. I, be, I believe because he, he is, he is community-minded, mm -hmm. and he's really for building up a strong infrastructure within here and within, mm -hmm. the, within the country. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, they got this Second Chance Act. Of, it, started, it, it act, actually started in mm -hmm. 2005, but it actually signed into law last year by President, uh, ex-President Bush, mm -hmm. former President Bush. And now, mm -hmm. this year, they're trying to uh, appropriate some funding mm -hmm. uh, through that Second Chance Act to be able to fund situations mm -hmm. 
whereas people are working with ex-offenders, mm -hmm. people coming back out of out of the uh, prison system, back mm -hmm. into society. Mm -hmm. And Obama, uh, our president, is very much active mm -hmm. involved, actively mm -hmm. involved in that. Okay, and, and, and of course, uh, we're getting ready for this first commercial break, and I think that's exactly the kind of information that we are looking for. And when we come back af after this uh, first commercial break, we'll pick up with you, uh, uh, Mr. Britton, and have you to talk about... Uh, uh, your impressions in terms of his election and uh, after that uh, you'll continue on and we'll continue that uh, se second segment and we'll be back with our audience uh, following this uh, first commercial break. Today 